Tonight at 6 here from WHAS 11 News, a deadly shooting inside a Highlands bar and restaurant over the weekend. It's our top story. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us on this Monday. I'm Doug Profit. Now Louisville authorities are working to suspend the liquor license of Cafe 360. They also want to give the city the power to make that decision on its own in case of emergencies. But overall, it was a violent weekend here in our hometown. The shootings began at 7 a.m. Saturday. Police responding to downtown Louisville, then the Bonnie neighborhood, Wilder Park, and finally just before 3.30 Sunday morning to Deer Park. Louisville Metro Police responding to calls about a man down inside that bar. The victim later identified as Theodore Brown, pronounced dead at the scene. Senior reporter Isaiah Kim Martinez and photojournalist Jessica Farley talked to the business owner today as the city calls for big changes. Remnants of crime scene tape are still visible along Bardstown Road, right outside Cafe 360, a popular late night bar where Metro Police spent part of their afternoon Monday. The bar's owner, who didn't want to be identified, telling me he's troubled by a fight he says escalated inside, leading to the deadly shooting. The co-founder of Against the Grain Brewery just doors down, Sam Cruz, calls the incident deeply sad. Our safety of our guests and our team are paramount, so we're always looking to see what's going on. Now the city is looking at policy changes. Authorities Monday sending a request to the state to temporarily strip Cafe 360 of its alcohol license while the investigation plays out. The process to suspend a liquor license here in Louisville typically has to go to the state for approval. But now there is a push here locally to give Metro Alcoholic Beverage Control more autonomy to make that call in emergencies. On Monday, Louisville's mayor endorsed a proposal to give Metro ABC this authority without the state's approval if there's deemed a threat to public safety. The amendment, if passed, would guarantee a suspension hearing within three days. The sponsor, Metro Councilman Rick Blackwell. We need to make sure that we have every available resource in our professionals' hands to be able to deal with uh, those threats. Businesses like Against the Grain say they're open to the idea if carried out right. It can be a very fair action, but it, it can be very one-sided if the collective of businesses isn't looked at on the whole. And supporting the local businesses and the community with more law enforcement presence is is good, but I also think the city needs to support law enforcement as well. Meanwhile, Cafe 360's owner tells me he'll be adding security to his staff. Close Monday, he says they'll reopen Tuesday, vowing his team will make it through this. Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side. Councilman Rick Blackwell's proposals will be talked about in a Metro Council Committee meeting coming up this Wednesday. And if it gets a vote and passes, it would be eligible for the full council vote by Thursday of next week. That's coming up on March 14th. 